Hey, what's going on? It's Kerry Sullivan here with another How to Kick Ass in Sales. And today, I want to talk to you guys about effective listening. That's right, effective listening. You know, one of the things is that you've heard me say over and over again in a lot of these videos is selling is really about shutting up and listening. Well, it also goes a little bit further in that the people that you are interacting with need to know that you are, yes, in fact, listening to them, right? And if they feel that you they are heard, right, and you truly understand what they are talking about, they're going to be a lot more likely to do business with you. And so here is how you do that. And it really can be effective as well if the person is particularly fired up or emotional about something as well. And I'll just give you an example here. So if someone comes to you and let's say you're selling Ferraris and they say, you know what, I need a red Ferrari with black leather seats. That's really what I want. I've always wanted it. And uh, it's going to have have, um, you know, 600 horsepower engine the, the, with the turbo booster or whatever. And you go, okay, great. Hey, just to make sure I'm understanding what you want so I can make sure that you're going to get it. Uh, you want a red Ferrari. It's going to have those black leather seats and we're going to get at least a 600 horsepower engine in there with the turbocharger. Is that correct? And they'll say, yeah, that's exactly what I want. Right. So if they say something back to you to those to, to that extent with, yeah, that's exactly it. Or, yeah, that's it. Yep. That's exactly what I said or whatever. Uh, or that's exactly what I need. That means you've done a good and effective job of listening to them. Right. And when they know that, you know that and then you go out there and deliver on it, it's going to help the situation a lot better. It's going to help to build that trust. It's also really effective in situations where, uh, you know, there's tension. So this is actually a technique that marriage counselors will teach, right? So if there is a debate between two parties and they'll teach us with uh, negotiations, high level negotiations with uh, you know po politics uh, and everything else, but they'll teach them to mirror back what they have said, you know? So, so you know, one person might be all fired up. Well, you ate all the Oreo cookies. And the other person say, okay, well, I understand that you're upset because I ate all the Oreo cookies and just try that alone in your everyday life and you can see how it diffuses the situation, makes the person feel like they're heard and understood. And if you take that into sales and negotiations, uh, it'll also do the same thing. And negotiations, as you guys all know, at times can be quite uh, tense. That's probably the best word for it, tense. And so when you use that effective listening, right? And then mirror back to them what they said as well. It can go a long way. And it also gives you a deeper understanding too of what's going on. See, when you mirror it back to them, you hear it yourself. Again, they agree with it anchors that in a little bit more with you for your own knowledge. So you can go out there and effectively put together a more better deal a more better deal that's not even proper english but you get the point it, put, it helps you put together a really effective deal to get the job done hey this is carrie sullivan with another how to kick ass in sales if you like this feel free to share it. and i'll catch you on the next how to kick ass in sales video and if you got any questions i'd love to hear them and i'll do my best to answer them all right guys talk to you later Bye bye